Okay, I'm on my way to feed the dogs and I'll show you some idyllic uh, running environment. It's beautiful here. <laughs> and um, I'll risk my life crossing the road because quite often they won't stop. I know, it's good, I'm alive. <laughs> okay, so I'll take little snapshots of, um, of me running, it'll jog around a bit. And look at this, local workers risking their lives to clean up a bit of dirt. Isn't that fantastic? And it's gonna make all the difference, yes. Right, back soon. This is the obligatory, you know, steps training. Um, I've counted these steps many times, of course. And I believe there are 72 to the top. So, and muddy, sometimes slippery, impossible in the snow. Okay, and when we get to the top, we have this beautiful scenery. Hang on, let me get through this. It's very slippery. Here we go. So, there's the river. I'll walk. There's the river. There's the um, factory, the oil um, place in the distance. And I'll continue running along here. The path actually um, it just doesn't go for long enough. Otherwise I could use it for cycling. It's better than the bike track in some ways. So here's the ledge. Up to the top. And the dogs are about a kilometre along here. Be back soon. I'm um, walking towards the dogs. I've just had a phone call to say that Bear has managed to get his way back to the pack which is oh my gosh that's such good news and um, now I'm on my way there to meet someone who wants to photograph the dogs and to reunite with Bear which will be wonderful to know that he's safe and to feed the dogs and then I'll run the rest of the river until I get back home walk run walk run I'm getting back into it anyway so it could be a good day okay bye right here we are. Oh, someone is here feeding the dogs. Bear! Bear, hello darling! Hello, hello darling. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. It's so good to see you back here. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, <laughs> you're good. You're good. Yes, you are. Hello, Mum. Foxy. Look at you. Look at you back here. You've got a collar on and everything. Hey. Oh, you beautiful boy. You're beautiful and you forgive me, huh? You're gorgeous. You are gorgeous. I'm so happy to see you, darling. And look at you, Foxy. Foxy, always shy. Look at them. Hello, Mum. How are the pups? How are the pups, darling? They good? Yes, they good. How are you? Aren't they beautiful? Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Oh yes. Oh yes. They do love me. Have you? This is. Aren't you? You're gorgeous. Yes. Good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow to try to get him again. Yes. Yeah. So that she just called me and she. I'll take photographs. But um, did you see the puppies? No. There's puppies under there, under the building. This is a, yes, he's very beautiful. He's very, um, very young, very shy. Alpha, Alpha. Come on. You. He can give a fight. Yes, he does. He, talk, he uses his hands a lot. Hello, darling. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. 
Okay, so the puppies are there. Oh, I can't focus so well. Two white, two black. <laughs> They're so cute. They're getting really big. They look very chubby and healthy. <laughs> I think this dog is quite dedicated to me, no matter where I go, she goes. I come up here to sit and she follows and she sits next to me. Very beautiful. Are you beautiful? Alpha. Alpha. Yeah. She's um, been attacking everybody today. She's quite protective. Her puppies are getting quite big. So she's um, becoming quite territorial which is kind of a bad thing because people will report her as being vicious and they'll kill her and all she's doing is looking after her pups. And this poor little one always has an eye infection, always sits aside. Hello darling, hello, hello. They're beautiful animals. So we will again, I think they'll try to get Bear tomorrow, Mishka tomorrow, take him back, but hopefully um, in, a, in a pretty secure environment. Okay, so fed the dogs and um, they are running along the river we'll run to that bridge in the distance cross it then run all the way back and uh, it looks all right on video but in reality it's not a great looking place okay bridge number two I feel like Rocky Balboa. Yes. Uh, uh, there we go. Not as muddy as the other bridge. Feeding the pigeons. after so well you hear Allah Akbar being sung five times a day uh, this is Renaissance Hotel where they charge a small fortune for what is guaranteed to be the worst coffee in town it's disgusting I've tried it twice because you know you've got to try it twice just to be sure and sure enough, it was disgusting. It doesn't help that there's no fresh milk in this city. It's all um, long life milk. Um, okay, so on my left, this is uh, the American city called Dostik. So the big oil company has built an entire like uh, village for all the workers and the houses are lovely. Uh, they've got their own restaurant, their own gym, their own um, conference centre, swimming pool. This is where a lot of the cyclists, um, I'll be meeting up with the cyclists here, hopefully two mornings a week. They have now, they have a Burger King. Uh, that's the only takeaway food place really. Um, and, I mean, you know, you can get everything you need here, everything basic. It's amazing, you know, how you can make do without things if you have to. Okay, so now I have to, oh, I have to cross this road and uh, run home. Scenic route. 
um, home. So, uh, uh, yes, it, it, it does tend to render me a bit speechless. You have the occasional sinkholes. Some of them are quite large. Uh, there have been areas where the footpath has completely given way and there's nothing underneath. <laughs> um, it's amazing how you build your, resi your resilience or your tolerance to appalling conditions because I was much more shocked by all this when I first got here. Um, and yes, all sorts. These are the gorgeous flower beds. Love them. Beautiful. Look at that. Just beautiful. Apparently it does get green in, uh, in spring, which we are heading into now. The spring season is called now res. They take a week off, or four days off. So I've got, in a couple of weeks, I've got a couple of days off where, you know, there's just so much to do here. <laughs> so I, sp I guess I'll spend a lot more time with the dogs and exercising. So here we go again. These pipes are um, above the ground, obviously, because the, the um, percentage of salt in the mud and soil here is huge and everything would just rust through if they were in the ground. So everything's exposed and they're pretty awful looking. But they do serve a really valuable purpose um, for the dogs because quite often they're warm and in winter you'll see all the dogs and cats sitting on top of them staying warm in winter so um, I'm quite happy about that. It does get green. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It reminds me of the lovely hills and valleys in the Chilterns in England. Just, you know, an abundance of green and beauty. Lovely. So this is my building. Uh, it's next to a primary school. This is that. And I go in here. You can imagine when I first came here and we drove in the driveway and um, Oops, get through the mud. And I saw those buildings in the distance. <laughs> I was a bit nervous. I thought, well, I've lived in some pretty rotten places in my life, but I reckon they would take the cake. But fortunately for me, no, I live in the more modern buildings over here. It's got full security. It's very effective security. They let absolutely anybody in. And, um, and it's good there's a little shop in the at the bottom of the building straight ahead but I live in this building to the right and my apartments I don't know on the seventh floor on that side and look yes here they do have a little bit of green so and the weather will go from minus 20 degrees to a scorching 40 plus and home sweet home with my little security.